This is really interesting. This, this is where we got all those cost savings. This is where we brought down that OpenAI bill, was actually running a large language model, an open source large language model on a few GPUs on Kubernetes. So let's dive into what that is. Here in this example, this is a node pool in Kubernetes. If you're not familiar with Kubernetes, I'm going to kind of breeze by a bunch of this stuff. But here's three computers in Kubernetes. And this node pool has, uh, each one of these has a T4 GPU. So great, it's a couple computers with GPUs. Uh, we can run AI technologies on GPUs at cost, nice. So we do that in Kubernetes with daemon sets. And we use something called VLLM. So a daemon set in Kubernetes is basically just a way to uh, enable a pod or some software to run on every single one of those. Whoops, went too far. One more. Uh, so every single one of these gets a VLLM piece of software that can then do inference. Uh, and inference being the text generation for whatever, uh, whatever we're sending with it. VLL, uh, VLLM is also very interesting because we can provide an OpenAI compatible API that looks just like OpenAI's API. But it's our technology running on our infrastructure, running on our inference with our GPUs. So we don't have to pay them a bill. But it looks just the same. So I didn't have to change that microservices uh, actual client code. OK, moving on. Uh, behind the scenes here, there's a Kubernetes service, which is really just a very fancy way of kind of like segmenting that off and providing that OpenAI compatible API behind a Kubernetes DNS discoverable uh, service. So this we're hitting at the VLM service, VLM namespace, depending on what you name things on Kubernetes, dot service, dot cluster, dot local, and then that will actually resolve load balanced across all of those computers in Kubernetes to one of those VLM pods. And then we can hit V1, chat completions, which is an open AI compatible endpoint. Great. So rewinding all of that, we have the small large language model, which we are using one of the Mistral models, very good, uh, and uh, the GPUs on Kubernetes, which then we can generate the summary for all that content. 